Breathing is such a subconscious thing that we don't even think about it. We just do breathe. But being left breathless is something totally different. And guess what? You are being left breathless because someone else lost their breath in application trying to craft something that will just wow you. Some value that is just out of this world. Nothing cheap is worth anyone's effort and anyone's attention. But something that is of value is something that necessity has it that it has taken away someone's breath in exerting themselves until at the end of the day the result is it leaves you the observer or the audience breathless so how can we leave our audiences breathless listen to this. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Whenever people talk about secrets in life, secrets to this and secrets to that, the connotation normally at the back of our minds is that it is something that we cannot achieve ourselves. It is something that is maybe a reserve of a few individuals. But in life, when we come to talking about success and making it, especially in this topic that we're talking about creating value that is going to wow our clients or wow our audiences, there is no secret that is basically a reserve of few people. It is available to each and every one of us. And the secret is simply this, that we need to leave them breathless. And if we're going to leave people breathless, then it means that we're going to care about what we are offering to them. Anytime you're reviewing your products and services that you're offering to your people, they are supposed to be things that you can see in them. Your blood, your sweat, your tears, your effort, your time, your expenses, your love, your care, your gift. All in one package that leaves people breathless. Whenever you see Cristiano Ronaldo, this amazing soccer player, do his stuff, you will need to understand that this man is the first one in the gym and the last one to leave. He expends himself. There is blood, sweat, and tears in what he is doing. We're talking about being left breathless in life. And very many times you find yourself wowed and maybe even transported to another realm when someone is performing i guess when you're talking about these things when you catch yourself saying something like that moment took my breath away you might have used those words before or you might even have had someone say those words Something that leaves you breathless is something that is of necessity world class. It's something that is out of this world. So let me ask you a question. Can you remember the last time that you were left breathless? I guarantee you it might be, maybe I'm willing to bet that it might be probably be as a result of you watching a performance a film or maybe you are just reading a thriller or something of that nature. You are watching a speech and you just shaking your head and maybe you're watching someone deliver a message and you're just shaking your head how did they come up with that it leaves you breathless it leaves you wowed whatever the case your breath being taken away is just an experience that is of wonder that is inspiring but i can tell you this that those moments that you saw those moments that you are privileged to be part of 
when your breath was taken away by a performance or by whatever it is that you observed they did not come by fluke those moments did not come by fluke someone somewhere exerted themselves to such an extent that they were breathless look at maybe this instance where you are sweating you are striving you're pushing yourself hard on the physical fitness arena maybe you are jogging or maybe you're on a, a, a elliptical treadmill or whatever it is that, but you're exerting yourself the most common denominator in those instances is that you start noticing what your breath is you start noticing that i am coming short of breath i need breath so badly reminds me of a, a success story i heard that this guy called socrates was asked by a guy a protege what can i do to become successful socrates told him let me meet you near the bank the river bank and when this apprentice met the, the man he took him to the river and as they were walking knee deep nearly when they go to waist deep and maybe when they got nearly to neck deep socrates grab this protege and he must him in water with his strength and held him down there and this man struggled to get free for quite a long while until when he started turning blue and socrates released him from his grip and he grasped he gasped for air socrates asked him what was the first thing that you wanted to do when you got out of my grip he said i wanted to breathe so bad and then they told him that is how you're going to be successful when you get yourself to that level that you are so wanting to succeed like you wanted to breathe that's when you're going to become successful and i'm saying this that when you come to levels in your life where you are hungering for the next breath do you know what that communicates to us it tells us that you are working you are exerting yourself against some kind of pressure you are sweating sweating it out blood sweat and tears that is my friend the crucible where the breathless moments are created people don't see these moments people don't see you practicing in the mirror people don't see you tearing up your speeches the eighth time you're trying it out and you're frustrated by it you're sweating you know that's the preparation people only see the grandeur the class the world class and it is necessary the process is necessary the process that you're going through to exert yourself it is absolutely necessary if you're going to create value that is going to wow people people normally ask me where do you get your information from all these days every single day you are here you're talking to us you're writing you're doing this and you're quoting and so on where do you get that information from? why do you get the time to do this i exert myself to such an ex- extent that i am noticing my breath i am noticing that i need to grasp my breath you see if we're going to operate from the level of where we are seeking to be comfortable you know we are remote controlling we are bluetoothing we are using ai and all those things where our own bodies are not being exerted our minds are not being exerted our spirits are not being exerted our minds and mental beings are just being there flat out not being used not being stretched that's the word i was looking for not being stretched to such an extent that we feel the the discomfort if we are always going to look for comfort then we're not going to go to that level where we are exerting ourselves and we're producing seamlessly valueless i mean value filled breathless performances he comes with a price before he breaks a record an olympian will be found exerting himself in obscurity literally running out of breath and i'm told there is actually a video that shows these people this famous athletes trying to practice they exert themselves to such a, uh, an extent that they throw up they are pushing their bodies against the de- against the comfort of the day they are challenging themselves to go to limits those people who normally do high class performance in terms of navy seals they go through a training i think it's called beast or something i can't remember the name they use but those guys they are taken through a training where they are pushed beyond their capacity and they are supposed to a last and finish that training otherwise their performance is going to be mediocre it is 
top notch performance this top notch performance especially in this decade is going to call for you and i to be so hard working to be so exacting ourselves to be so daring i mean to go for it with all our hearts all our strength all our minds there's actually a scripture that t- attributes it to this it says you should love the lord your god with all your heart all your mind and all your strength and that's how living is supposed to be it's not just a religious game it is living we should when we have our hands doing something we should do it with all of our hearts all of our minds all of our strength especially if it's for the benefit of someone else so that when someone else comes across what you or die you and I are doing their breath is taken away and they are blessed that they were able to hear us or they are able to listen to us or they are able to see us they are able to read us and so on and so forth they are coming in contact with us and our products and our services because we were breathless this world my friends is filled with as many things as possible if you wanted a podcast on purpose there are thousands and thousands around them if you wanted a podcast on productivity there are thousands upon thousands of those but not all of them are top notch not all of them the creators have exerted themselves not all of them are li- going to leave you breathless in fact you can give up trying to look for one that is really breathless but once you find one that gives you absolute value guess what happens you become a faithful follower and you will never drop out of it in fact you go one step ahead and you start mouthing you start sneezing so to speak you start yesia sneezing and telling people have you seen this have you watched that have you listened to that because you are left breathless the natural disposition for you as a human being is when you are blessed by something you look at the guys that are in your life that you are in love with guys that you are in harmony with and you also want them to experience the same kind of harmony that's why ladies and gentlemen the biggest form of marketing is word of mouth but people do not word of mouth anything that is ordinary people word of mouth things that are extraordinary things that are breathless there is this guy I think it's Ralph Waldo Emerson and that thing has been debunked or whatever it is but he said something to this effect that if a man has good corn or wood or boards or pigs to sell or can make a better chair or knives or crucibles or church organs than anybody else you will find a broad hard beaten road to his house even though that house was situated somewhere in the wilderness and I paraphrase him and is the absolute truth that's why people normally say okay there are no jobs there are no jobs it is the truth that there are no jobs in the traditional sense but this world is looking for things that are going to leave them breathless if you can leave your audience breathless whether you have a job or not believe me you have something to do you have a tribe of followers you have a group of people who are looking up to you and they're asking when is the next product going to come out that's why th- people like when it come to writing there are few guys who write few authors that i have i uh, held them in high esteem i can mention this christian fiction author called francin rivers when francin rivers releases a book it is news my friends because you are assured your breath is going to be taken away when never this man called uh, Malcolm Gladwell releases a, another book it is news and we are sure that our breath is going to be taken away whenever Tyler Perry sometimes releases another sitcom we are assured that our breath is going to be taken away and we are waiting because of interacting with people who have taken time they have taken blood they have taken sweat they have taken tears they have taken their own their their very being and they have exerted it to focus on one project and they're selling us that project we look 
for money to purchase it. We look for a way to experience it one way or another. So in this new decade, let us focus, and I'm speaking also to myself, let us focus on creating wow, the wow factor. And I'm going to talk about that in this episodes, in this podcast, maybe sometime in the future, how we can be able to create a wow factor, an okay plus one factor in whatever product or services that we are producing. But in this decade, we're talking about strategic planning, positioning ourselves to succeed in this decade and beyond. If we are going to do that, then we must come to the level where we are focusing ourselves on living people who are interacting with our products and our services breathless. There's a guy whom I normally used to do my graphic designing things. Every time he comes up with something, you are assured that he's going to leave you breathless. He's going to wow you at some point or another. But you see, behind the scenes, before this a record being broken by an Olympian. They have exerted themselves in obscurity. They have pushed the limits of their own bodies, their own minds, their own spirits so that they can come up with that breathless performance. One word for this is what? Training. That is one word for it. Training, not education. Training. Training is totally different from gathering knowledge. Training basically is using knowledge especially at a personal level so that you can create things and you can perform things and you can become better than you were previously. And the saddest thing, ladies and gentlemen, that I see in organizations that I consult with, it is the budget that they use to allocate for training. They allocate X amount of money for quote-unquote training, but that training includes things like going out, socializing, drinking, and having a motivational speaker, quote-unquote, deliver a one-hour speech. And then they come back after a three-day out there of, quote-unquote, team building. What have they been doing? They have been team building and they come back and they have allocated that amount of money. One-fifth of that amount of money goes to the motivational speaker who is supposed to be the trainer. They come back the same old, same old and they want to break records. They want to up their game as, as, as an organization and so on and so forth. If you are not going to expend effort, energy, money, expenses on training, you can forget about it. I don't know what it is that you have discovered to be your purpose in 2020 and beyond. If you have discovered the area that you're going to focus on, let me tell you what, what you need to do. What you need to do is to make sure that whatever, whoever is going to experience you at some point in time is going to be left breathless. How are you going to do that? You're going to do that through training, different types of training, professional training, informal training, training in obscurity, self-personal discipline, self-training, starting with yourself, focusing on yourself first. If that is not done, then you can be sure that whatever it is you're going to create is actually going to be mediocre. Another kind of training is iteration. You do something and you repeat it and you repeat it and you repeat it until such a level that it, when you experience it yourself, you feel inspired. There are very many times, by, by the way, that I normally go and deliver speeches. Every time I deliver a speech and I tell my wife or I tell my friends, I did not feel it. Normally... I did not feel it and normally the crowd also did not feel it but every time I go out there and I also leave myself breathless I know for a fact that the people that listened to me they were left breathless yesterday I told you I was going to share with you that uh, I'm going for this speech contest and so on and so forth so I went for this speech contest and immediately after delivered my speech I told my wife I did not feel that speech and I was targeting to be maybe top two so that I can go and represent my area in the division level, the district level of Toastmasters. But I came out the third, but I already gave my wife the feedback that I did not feel that speech. Wow. Probably the level of exertion, the level of training that I put in is not commensurate to what that level of contest required. 
chances are that I did not run out of breath in preparation and in training as I ought to have. And if I did more of running out of breath, so to speak, in practicing my speech, chances are that whoever listened to me would have been left breathless and I would have met my target and my goal to represent my area. But I live to fight for another day. See, something interesting about breathing it is that what we need in life is to breathe. Breathing is such an interesting thing because it is something that happens in the subconscious. I don't need to think about it. I don't need to count how many times I breathe in a minute or in a second. I just do breathe subconsciously. Right now, you did not even notice that you are breathing until I mentioned that fact. It happens subconsciously. But then the moment you start noticing that you need breath, chances are that either you are exerting yourself or you are not okay physically. It's the paradox. When we start giving attention to our breath, that is when we start the path of creating breathlessness, leaving people breathless who are experiencing us. If you are noticing your breath patterns in physical exercise, it means that you have moved from your comfort zone. Now you are the very next breath is important to you. You have in a moment flipped the narrative. You are no longer a slave to your body anymore. The body is now a slave to you because you determine what it does. If your healthy body is the one that is dictating what time you're going to wake up, what time you're going to eat, or what time you're going to do exercises, or how you're going to show up in life today, guess what? You are a slave to it. And let me tell you this, for as long as you and I are slaves, there is no way we are going to be breathless, to give people breathless performances. So the secret is this, in training, let us make the body, the mind, the spirit, our slaves. And that is the foolproof way of making sure that we are providing exemplary value to the people that are going to be our audiences. That is what is going to sell us in 2020 and beyond, especially in this decade. Training, making sure that we are not slaves to anything, but we are actually masters, starting with masters of our own body, our own bodies. All right, until tomorrow, bye-bye. A special shout out to my mentor, Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University, found at mastermindmentor.com, who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.